Chapter 19 Saul tries to kill David In the past Saul tried to kill David in a secret way Now Saul hated David so much that he even told other people to kill him Jonathan was wise He told David to hide from Saul Jonathan spoke to his father Saul and tried to stop him Jonathan was more loyal to David than to his father Jonathan reminded his father about the great things that David had done for Israel and for his family. He praised David. Jonathan wanted his father to think in a sensible way. He did not want his father to kill David. Saul realized that he was wrong. Saul made a serious promise to God and he allowed David to live. So David went and served Saul again. Saul did not keep his promise to God. Saul tried to kill David again. David escaped again, but this time he never went back to serve Saul. David had to stay away from Saul for the rest of his life. David could never trust Saul again. The events of verses 8 and 9 are similar to chapter 18 verse 6 to 11. Saul was jealous because God gave David success. Verses 11 to 17 shows that Michal was more loyal to her husband David than to her father Saul. Michal saved David's lives. Saul's servants watched the door of David's house. So David had to get out of the window where the servants could not see him. The window was probably on the first floor of their house. So Michal had to help David get down to the ground. Michal had an idol in her house. This shows that Israelites worshipped other gods as well as the Lord Yahweh. However, Bible does not say that David ever worshipped idols. Michal made the idol look like a person in the bed. God's law say it is wrong to lie. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 11 and wrong to murder. Exodus chapter 20 verse 13. Michal thought that it was best to protect David. But to do that, she had to tell a lie. This gave David more time to run away from Saul. In verse 17, Michal lied again. Perhaps she was afraid that Saul might kill her too. David needed someone to help him now. He trusted Samuel, so he went to visit him at Ramah. It took David about an hour to walk there. Samuel and his prophets did not live in the main part of the town of Ramah. Niath means tents. So they probably lived at the edge of the town in those days. In those days, prophets often lived together. An older prophet led them and taught them. Saul sent three different groups of men to seize David. The Spirit of God came and controlled all the men. They started to prophesy means that they behaved like the other prophets. They probably showed a lot of emotions and spoke in a strange ways. Then Saul decided to go himself to find David. But Saul could not find his way. When he got to Rama, the Spirit of God controlled him too. Saul could not kill David. Instead, he behaved like the prophets. Saul took off his clothes, including his royal coat. The people saw what happened to him but they knew that he was not the real prophet. Compare verse 24 with chapter 10 verse 12. The Spirit of God first came to Saul just after Samuel anointed him as king. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 9 to 13. This showed that God had chosen him to be the king of Israel. But this time the Spirit of God controlled Saul to stop him killing the future king of Israel.